Hey guys, it's Mandy Eileen. I wanted to make a video that shows exactly how to mix your face paints with the water. So some of the people were getting confused as to their paints not going on right because they were either too liquidy or they were too dry and I just wanted to make a video so that you guys could see exactly how I mix the colors in my palette. Take this, dip it, and then wipe most of the water off like this. Then to get the white working go back and forth, back and forth, like this. Kind of get it activated a little bit. <clears throat> One of the things I'm going to show you is an owl um, Halloween design here. So I've got just a white circle. So I'm going to wash that off. Again, get most of water out of the brush. So you've just got a little bit, your brush is moist, but all of it is wet up until here. Then I'm going to get this metallic blue, back and forth, back and forth. I've split this light blue, dark blue, that's metallic um, blue. Um, light green, dark green, yellow, gold, uh, like a rainbow type for butterflies. Um, when I had <coughs> two cakes that were about this, then I would put them together, same size, same colors, so that it works a little better when I'm doing designs anyway. If you're doing leaves, it's great. Stuff like that. So I'm just going to outline this in blue. I'm going to do like a little owl design for Halloween, a little simple cheek art. Okay. And I'm going to wash this off. Leave it down here, wipe off all the extra. I'm going to get this one next, get it completely wet, and then dry a lot of it off. And then over here with the black, back and forth, back and forth. And then with the black, sometimes what you want to do, what I do, after you do that, and then I spin it on there to get that tip. <coughs> if you want it flat, then you go back and forth until it's flat. So I'm going to make little ears here for an owl, like a circle for the head, add the little ears, another circle, oval type for the body, a little bit of a tail here, and then I'm going to have a tree coming down, and I'm spinning the brush a little bit as I go to get that point still in there, so I'm just doing a little bit of a tree design here. And then I'm going to outline the whole thing. It's hard to paint at this angle. Outline the whole thing in black. And that's like a little simple design. So here's the next thing. I'll show you a little bit about sponging something. This is the one that I use for the rainbow. But I'm just going to do two smaller colors. So what you do for the rainbow, or for sponging in general, is I dip the corner of this in the water, just the little, littlest bit in the, the corner, just to get that moist. Not dripping, if I squeeze it, there's not a lot of water that comes out. So, and I'm just going to show you a basic kind of little butterfly thing over here. So, <clears throat> now that I've got the corner wet, then I go back and forth, back and forth. And that little dab of wetness that I got on there is going to get all of this going, okay? And then if it's still too wet, then I dab some of it off. And then if you want to go over here, you can swipe like that. But if you want full coverage, like and if you want that smooth design to where it doesn't look like no streaks or anything like that, then you do that. So I'm going to also dip just the corner bit in there. I usually just wipe it off like that. I'm going to get a little bit of purple and sponge it over here a little more and then I'm going to use the back to blend it in use a tapping type motion see it's blended don't worry so much about your edges because you're gonna do them if you need more pink and less purple and tap that blah 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 all right then Black or white for outline, doesn't matter. Well, I'll do black. See, 
that's about as wet as I get. When I'm doing it fast, I dip like that, dry off just a little bit, and then go to dabbing here. So for this butterfly, I'm going to take it around like this, back in, make it thicker. I'm going to go here, make this a swallowtail type part right there. Okay, I'm going to give this extra wing over here. Okay, this is very basic butterfly. And I'm going to start going in a little bit. Making, you know, U's, big U curves. Then I'm going to fill all this in with black. Then I'm going to go back, do like more U's. Big U curves. Another row of them here. Okay. Again, very basic butterfly. You can work on your designs and the butterfly and all that stuff all day long if you want to. So, body here, the butterfly. That's too dry. See that? It's not giving me a nice um, line. It's kind of fuzzy because it's too dry. This is better. Then, let me try that again this way. It's hard to paint so you guys can see perfect. Hope that you can. Okay, and even that's not enough paint to water right there. See how light it is? See when you cover it with the black? And sometimes, I mean, I've been painting for a couple of years and I still get it wrong and, you know, anything can be fixed. You can always go over it again. You can always add a different color. You can always sponge it off. Okay. After that, what I would do with this little butterfly would be to get... Now, if you're going to do dots, I recommend getting a little bit more liquid on there so that the dots will be droplets. Get a really good amount of white going. And then I just thought, I like to do the dots big, small, little, big, small. And see, I got plenty of paint on there. There's no reason to re-dip for all these dots. Now it's starting to get needing a little bit more paint. So you grab a little bit more paint. If you want to highlight any of the insides or anything like that, you can. Again, not the normal angle to be painting it. See that? Mix the colors together. Because that's too watery. Because I had it for the dots, kind of watery. But when you're going to paint a line, you need to get more white. So it's almost like a, I don't know, different consistency. You want this to be less, I don't know, more <laughs> pudding, I guess, consistency, something like that, so that the white will show up better. Because if you have the white too, or any of the colors, if you have them too liquidy, and if you keep trying to fix it and now it's turning into gray, and just wait a minute. Wait for it to dry. And if you really want to, you know, get that exact defined line, go back in black and cover it so it looks better. You know, and again, this is just a basic, basic butterfly, you know, design that you could do around somebody's eye. You know, their eye could be here. You could do it on an arm. You could do both wings. It doesn't really matter. Okay, two simple lines. 